So this is the bus bar for my 17 AES 6650 batteries. It is quarter inch copper by four inches wide by eight feet long to span the entire length of my temporary racking jig. At first glance, so much copper might seem a little like overkill or waste, but it's actually $113 more in the end than two commercially available combiner boxes. And what the copper bus bar does for me in the end is allows me the shortest possible connections between the batteries and the bus bar. There are currently 17 Discover AES 6650 batteries. And if I used commercially available combiner boxes, I would end up with cable lengths of something similar to six feet per battery. So six feet per positive per battery and six feet for negative per battery. This bus bar allows me to use a 26 inch cable from the battery to the bus bar. On top of that, the Discover AES 6650 battery is the best battery in the world for solar, especially when combined with Schneider equipment because of the communicating feature on the batteries. So if you're going to have the best battery on the best system, then it's probably best practice to have the best bus bar that you can put together. And although it might look a little complicated or over complex, the simple fact is I'm just a homeowner. Your NABSEP certified solar installer should be able to put this together much easier than I can. Let's take just a second to discuss some of the specifics. One thing about all this copper is that you avoid entirely voltage drop. Here we are at the inverter end of the bus bar. We have 52.81 volts. It's approximately 70% state of charge. Now, if we go all the way to the other end of the bus bar, we have absolutely zero voltage drop at 52.81 volts. That voltage is being carried by four inch copper, eight feet long, quarter inch thick. There'll be four bus bars in the end, all connected by this vertical bus bar that runs the entire height of the rack. You want a four bolt configuration in order to get a nice, solid, positive contact between the bus bars. Here in the front, we're using a cable called Flexible Bus Bar by the manufacturer to make our connections to the actual bus bar that I designed. You can see that it's five laminates of copper, about one inch wide, and it is rated for 485 amps at 30 C. So you have about 26 inches from the battery to the bus bar. And at the bus bar, you want a two lug pattern, once again, for a nice positive connection. My ultimate design calls for 
24 AES 6650 batteries. That's going to be four rows of six batteries with an expansion capability for four more batteries. Those batteries are connected to four Schneider 6848 inverters and seven Schneider MPPT-80 charge controllers with the new Schneider Gateway.